Hey world, it's Linda. So rum. So what's new in yarn too? So today's offerings come from, oh, I don't even remember who I got these from. That's very embarrassing. Oh, QT Fabrics. And we just spent three hours with the sales rep just now. Okay, planning for November. Would you believe October? Days like that. Far off in the far, far, far future. All right, what's today? Today we are looking at some blues. Now, I like these guys. They all spoke to me, but you can understand why. They're funny little monsters, and they are so cute. And so with them goes this little, uh, they're squares of different colors to accent all those googly eyes. And then to base it down, pull it down, Here's what they call square dots. So those square dots are a kind of a creamy with a, a dark blue, black little dot. So that's a grouping. But we didn't stop there with it. The, these dots went well with my friends here, the sun. Now these are not a metallic. This is like a creamy yellow, creamy ivory. It's not yellowed in truth. So it goes very nicely with this uh, ivory square dot. And then, and I'm looking at this, and usually these things come from the same group. And this one, though, the blue is so much brighter. And I looked at it and I said, maybe the monsters came from there. <laughs> no, that's not it either. So I've got to look back and see that I make a mistake. But this is pretty, too, with a light blue, and it works with the square dots. But I think maybe if you wax, if the, uh, the lighter blues are accented, make a nice, because they're closer together. See, you need a bigger square to get this whole design. <clears throat> now, moving on, Father's Day. This arrived. Yes, it arrived yesterday. <laughs> and here is Father's Day. Actually, it didn't. It arrived. It arrived on Friday. So on Friday and then here. So here's a Father's Day fabric. So guess what? You can prep yourself for next Father's Day or for your boyfriend. But to go with it, look at this. I just loved the colors, how rich those colors are. That's blues and browns and golds, and they look very rich. But if you want something more bright, there's the red to accentuate what reds are here. And it's got the same, you know, gears and wrenches and all the saws, hammers. There's bound to be a screwdriver in there. And that's in the reds and oranges. And then... This is a blue. It's a little darker than what you're seeing on screen. But this blue is called, is got numbers because you're supposed to, and the whole group is called measure twice. So those are numbers, but you could use them on something else where you want to accentuate numbers because it's really quite a pretty, oh, look at that. I wonder if that worked. Never mind. Me and, and always spending time. Oh, this might go with that. That might go with this. But there's more. There's always more. So this summer, we're going to be doing some easy, simple classes so you can prep for, since it's going to be July and August. And one of the things we're going to do is a compass bag. Now, uh, we've had this one be compass bag. No, I'm sorry. Ew. Clam up. I got that wrong. Don't, 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 don't be upset. This is called a clam up. Now I'm trying to unzip it while I'm doing talking to you. Okay, but here you will see. This is the clam up bag. And this one was made in one day. And what's special about it is we were getting to using up ribbon. You see that ribbon? That is added on. So you're making the pattern, and then just down the middle, we appliqued the ribbon. So easy. The, comp the clam up bag 
does come, we have another sample here with older fabric. And that, and see, it's got flaps on the sides and little tugs on the bottom to hold it. Uh, this is a Biani pattern. And I know I'm jiggling. It comes in, oh gosh, are you ready for this? Four sizes. And look at that. So we've got the large, medium, a little small one, and a teeny one. And these are all, they have the little catch things on the side so things don't fall out. And all of that. But the idea here, what got me started, <laughs> were the using of the ribbons. Now, we had originally wanted to use the fabric that we ended up putting inside. But this is, I forget whose fabric this is. So because I was excited about the ribbons and the clam up, I of course went and purchased some more ribbon. And this time, now the, this is really pretty, and you could take this ribbon, let me get a piece here to show you, and double it up. See, you could have two, you'd make it neater than I did, like that maybe. You see, and look at that secondary pattern you get. And so that's a hexagon one, but wait, wait till you see these. These are two la pink ones. Check this one out. Can't you just see here this on a little cute bag? I am so, I love this one. Well, I love them all. And then here's another Tula Pink. Oops, it's falling apart. And this is from her, her line work. And this, oh, this would be stunning on a black bag, wouldn't it? Or actually any, you could pick any of her colors. I'm under how, it would, yeah, it'd be stunning on this black bag here. Anyway, and then, oh, I just love this. I like, I guess it's the orange. I like orange. The orange with the purple, jewel tones. I should be embarrassed, but I thought that this was really lovely, the colors. And, you know, I guess it's because I was born in the, in the fall. And this is another ribbon. <laughs> in teal and five six oh only six inches oh my gosh all right and then finally I got some webbing in that this is the webbing that you would use for your bag handles and uh, stronger tag ties like this that you would hold your hardware on and that's black and white to kind of go with the Tula vibe here. Could you see that? And this, oh, come on, you can do that. Could even do that on a white bag, a red bag, any, oh, anyway, that's the excitement. Ribbons, clam ups, classes, and we're talking about uh, other things. We'll do more. Oh, of course, I, I missed this fabric because I hung it in a different place. <laughs> I know it's embarrassing. Okay, over here. There we go. We got a nativity in. This is a nativity. And then this bright to the left here, this is a very bright uh, coordinate with the stars and a mosaic. I don't know if they call it a mosaic or not, but isn't that lovely? And that kind of brightens up this nice big, and that's a 36 inch wide panel. So you've got a very large panel. It wouldn't take much. And then you could do some uh, to make a, a, a quilt uh, throw on this particular panel. So Christmas in July is going to be, for the whole month, 20% off any Christmas fabrics, including that panel. So look forward to you. We are talking to uh, Judy about, <clears throat> my feet hurt, uh, <laughs> some serger class with the, uh, and one that's come up, but I don't know if she can do this on the serger, but it looks like it's a serger. I'm going to show you. 
this bass this is a basket and it was done with the um with the judaica fabric uh unfortunately yes that little tear there is me having kept a uh, corroding battery in there but it's on the serger and hence we've got a nice um run around the sides with metallics metallic type yarns or thicker stuff anyway so there's a lot coming up we promise there will be more i'm would you believe i'm going to albany this weekend to sit out in the rain in the thunderstorms under tall trees to listen to music <laughs> the things we do anyway have a good weekend it's not going to be as bad as it sounds, they tell me. It never is. It never is, you know. You think that there's a, going to be a, a wall of water coming our way. It never is. And we need it anyway. So, take care, everybody. Hope to see you in the store soon. Bye now from Linda at So What's New and Yarn 2. Bye. <laughs>